Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number seven from the February March 2018 International GCSE IGCSE Cambridge um, paper two variant two. And this question is about this regular hexagon, regular hexagon A B C D E F, and these vectors which are P and Q. P being from C to D and Q being from C to B. Now. When we have regular hexagons, we have a special shape here, which there's certain properties that we should know about, which will help us when we're dealing with these vectors. So, for example, here, they've told us to find the vector from C to A, okay, in this shape. Now, we know from C to A, for example, we could go from C to B, but then B to A, we can't say that that's equal to vector Q, nor can we say that's equal to vector P. Even though it's regular, they're the same length, but they're not the same direction. So this direction B to A is not the same as the vector C to B, nor is it the same as C to D, because a vector has to have a direction and a magnitude. Just the magnitude alone being the same doesn't make it the same vector. So we've got to think of another way of getting from C to A in terms of the same you know, lengths and directions in vectors P and Q. So what we should realize is, is there's a vector from D to A. Okay, the vector from D to A. So if I draw a line from D to A, now, that vector, I'm going to show you how this is parallel to this vector and also twice its length. Okay, so there's one of the things that, you know, we don't have to show this proof. We, we could, I mean, I know that this is the vector 2q, basically. So I know from c to a is going to be the vector from c to d plus d to a. c to d plus d to a is the same as a vector from c to a. So that's going to be P plus 2Q. But why? I want to explain why in this question. Why is that the case? Now, if I were to take this um, hexagon and join the opposite corners, the opposite corners of each other, like this, what I have formed here is basically um, a shape which has, make it actually as we can, a shape which has, six triangles which are all the same and how, how do I know that they're the same well I know that in a regular hexagon in a regular hexagon if I was to extend one of the sides out okay for example if I was to extend this side out I know that this angle here is going to be 360 divided by the number of sides which is 60 so this angle here is 60 degrees I know that and I also know that this whole angle inside from there to there is 120 degrees because they make a like a straight line together this angle and that angle because this is an exterior angle and if these two are if this whole angle is 120 this is cutting this angle in half so that's 60 therefore that's 60 okay and that means it's the same in this corner so that must be 60 and also this of course has to be 60 as well we got 360 divided by 6 is 60 so basically we have six equilateral triangles these are all the same length. Okay, so we've got six equilateral triangles in here. And I know if this is 60 degrees, then this must also be 60 degrees, which means that these lines are parallel to each other. All right, these lines are all parallel. CD is parallel to BE. CB is parallel to DA. Okay, because, you know, if this angle is 60, all right, and if I know also that this angle is also 60, Okay, then this line is parallel to that line because they make an F shape. So if these two lines are parallel, they could be expressed in terms of the same vector. And I know that this is the same length as Q, and it's parallel to Q. So this is Q and this is Q, so this gives us 2Q. So for go to go from C to A, you're going to have P plus 2Q. All right, so because each of these are equilateral triangles, all these lengths are the same. And because these are equilateral triangles, this angle is equal to that angle, so this and this line are parallel. This and this line are parallel. These lines that are going across like this, they're parallel to each other. That line is parallel to that line, and so on. These opposite sides are parallel to each other, so that could also be considered vector Q as well. All right. So for that reason, I'm going to get rid of all of this now to, to uh, make it look neater. So for that, that's the reasoning behind it. You don't have to prove it here at all. Okay. If, if you just quote the fact now that... The vector d to a is 2 times q, that's fine. But I just showed you the reason because this is q and this is q because of these 
these uh, six equilateral triangles, this length is the same as that length, and this line is parallel to that line. Okay, this line, because this angle is 60, as is this angle, so therefore this make F shape, basically. So this is the angle, the, I'm sorry, this is the vector from C to A, is like going from C to D plus D to A. So all questions involving um, these type of regular hexagons and um, 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 vectors can be solved using this idea. Okay, so these lines weren't there in the beginning. In the beginning, we didn't have any of these lines. Okay, none of them were there. In the beginning, it looked like this. But I know, because of what I just mentioned, that this line, okay, is the vector 2q. So this is C, D, P, D, A, 2q, P plus 2q. Okay, so that's the answer to this question, P plus 2q. That's a very simple way of answering this question. You don't have to prove it, you can show it, uh, you can just quote it. Okay, you have to understand that that's one of the properties of a regular hexagon, that the opposite, the, the sides which are going across like this are all parallel to each other. So even BA and DE would be parallel, C, parallel CD and AF would be parallel. So for example, B to E would be equal to 2P. Okay, and so on. So any question involving regular hexagons and vectors can be solved using this idea. Okay, so that I hope was um, useful and it might help you in some other questions you might have in this particular topic. If um, you want to see other questions from this paper, once I get around to answering them, you can find them in the playlist which will be appearing in this area at the end of the video. Other questions about um, vectors can be found in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and um, you know, if you want to find other material about IGCSE or A-level work, you can find them uh, links to my index um, documents in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.